నమస్తే శ్రీరామ లవ్ అండ్ రెస్పెక్ట్ ఫుట్ ఆఫ్ లార్డ్ శ్రీరామ క్వశ్చన్ నెంబర్ వన్ ఫిఫ్టీ వన్ ద పర్పస్ ఆఫ్ క్లియరెన్స్ యాంగిల్ ఈస్ టు ఆప్షన్ ఏ ప్రివెంట్ ద టూల్ రబ్బింగ్ విత్ వర్క్ ఆప్షన్ బి బ్రేక్ ద లెంత్ చిప్స్ ఆప్షన్ సి గైడ్ ద చిప్స్ అవే ఆప్షన్ డి అవాయిడ్ ఓవర్ హీటింగ్ so for question number 151 the correct answer is option a prevent the tool rubbing the with the work so this is the diagram of a single point cutting tools the nomenclature is so for question number 151 the purpose of clearance angle is the correct answer for this question is prevent the tool rubbing with the work pieces so this is the self rack angles so this is the back rack angle so this is lip angle the shank and it is base and this is the side relief angles so here end relief angle this is the nose and this is the end cutting edge angles and this is the face nose radius this is the shank so this is the nomenclature of single point cutting angle tool that is side rack angles so for question number 151 the purpose of a clearance angle is to correct answer is option e that is prevent the tool rubbing with the work subscribe this channel click the bell icon and also share this video to your friends on facebook and whatsapp group for more videos check the playlist or home page of this youtube channel next question is question number 152 the property of a material to resist a sudden load during the metal cutting is termed as so option a cold hardness option b red hardness option c toughness option d brittleness so for this question the correct answer is option c toughness toughness the toughness is the property of a material that it does not break under a sudden shock it is simply expressed as the ability of a material to withstand shock loading so for question number 152 the property of a material to resist sudden load during metal cutting is termed as correct answer is option c toughness next question number 153 the formation of chips while cutting is based on the option a rack angle of the tool option b clearance and wedge angle of the tool option c clearance angle of the tool option d wedge angle of the tool so the correct answer for question number 153 option a rack angle of the tool here are rack angles it is the angle formed between the face of the tool and the plane parallel to its base these rank angles guide the chips away from the cutting edge thereby reducing the chip pressure on the face and increase the needs of the tool so that the less power is required for required for cutting so for question number 153 the formation of chips while cutting is based on the correct answer is option a rack angle of the tool next question number 154 preventive maintenance of a machine involves option a periodic inspections of machine and equipment option b lubrication as per manufacturer instructions option c servicing and over oiling of machines option d all of the above so next for this question the correct answer is all of the above preventive maintenance preventive maintenance is a schedule of plan maintenance actions aimed at the prevention of breakdowns and failures The primary goal of preventive maintenance is to prevent the failure of equipment before it actually occurs. 
It is designed to preserve and enhance equipment reliability by replacing worn components before the actual. Question number 155. The difference between rhythm and addendum of the gear is known as option A model, option B clearance, option C flank, option D backlash. For correct answer is option C clearance. Option C clearance. Clearance the difference between the datum of one gear and the atom of the matic case. So, so question number 155 the difference between datum and addendum of the gear is known as clearance. Next question number 156 the distance measured between the perpendicular to crest and road is called option A depth, option B flank, option C size, option D thread angle. So correct answer is option A depth. Just the diagram of uh, question threads here. This is a pitch and this is a crest, flank and thread angles. Then the axial thickness, this is the pitch line, this is the flank angle, this is the add and and didn't. So this is the minor diameter and this is the pitch diameter and this is the major diameter. This is the axis of threads. So this is the roots and this is the crest. The pitch, the distance between two consecutive threads that is called pitch. Okay, this is upper portion, the crest and this bottom, that's the root. So okay. So for question number 156, that the distance measured between the perpendicular to crest and root is called as depth. Here, yeah, there's a distance here, crest, and this is the root. That is distance between this call as depth. So next question, that is for 156, the distance is measured between perpendicular to crest and root is called as, our correct answer is option E, that is depth. So next question number 157, the solder wire used in electronic soldering mat at option A, 600 degrees Celsius, option B, 400 degrees Celsius, option C, 800 degrees Celsius, option D, 200 degrees Celsius. Correct answer is option D, 200 degrees Celsius. So here, this is the solder wire. Solder is a silver color, soft and very flexible wire, metallic alloy which has a low melting temperature and good atomic formulation. Normally the solder contains tin and lead. So here temperature as per the solder type for 50, 50 and 60, 40 and the first column in 63 by 37. So as per this percentage of tin is given in the second column and also respect to Solder type again percentage of lead is in third column is given. So in the fourth column they are mentioned that is melting temperature in fat by six degrees Celsius. So for this questions that is the and solder wire used electronic soldering melt is at the correct answer is option D 200 degrees Celsius. Next question, question number 158. Density is defined as option A mass into volume, option B mass divided by volume, option C mass plus volume, option D mass minus volume. Correct answer is mass divided by volume. So density is defined as the ratio of mass per unit volume. So density is equal to mass divided by volume. So for question number 158. Density is defined as the correct answer for this question is option B, mass divided by volume. Next question, 159, the machining of which of the following materials requires less cutting force? Option A, titanium, option B, stainless steel, option C, aluminium, option D, cast iron. For this question, the correct answer is 
option C, aluminium. Advantages of aluminiums, the light in weight as one by the density of steel as a high strength to weight in ratio. Surface can be hardened by anodizing hard coating. As a good thermal and electrical conductivity, as well as that are weldable, will not rust. As good flammability, die cast easily machine is non magneting and non toxic. For question number 159, machining of which of the following materials requires less cutting force? The correct answer is option C aluminium. Next question number 160. Which of the below is the oddest tool material? Option HSS, option B, carbide, option C, ceramic, option D, diamond. So correct answer for this question, question number 160, option D, diamond. Diamonds, it is the oddest cutting material. It has low coefficient of friction, high compressive strength, and is extremely wear resistant. The deformation during process is very less. It can resist temperature up to 1250 degrees Celsius. So for question number 160, which of the below is the hardest tool materials? So option is option D, that is diamond. Correct answer is option D, diamond. Thank you for watching Jai Shri Rama.